leeway saying I'm pretty sure we're ready to go. <laughs> but we do indeed have the pistol round kicking off and endpoint hopefully for their own sake can find something in the early stages here of overpass. Here it goes. Might be Kirby finding something early on here. Going for aggression out along. I think his footsteps may have been heard because you can tell Fash is going back to look for it. Oh no. Oh no. Kirby escapes with his life, but only just. And he's the only player here towards A. So that's going to force Surreal up the steps. And he's going to bring Nerds along with him because Kirby is between a rock and a hard place. There are a lot of players from Fnatic and they want this kill. They do not want this to get away from them. Maybe a tiny bit of damage there from Kirby, but definitely not. A great situation! Ooh. Nico Dahl's gonna make it worse. Nertz has to stand strong, and he's already been gushed. It's looking catatonic. It's looking catastrophic here. And it's just on the Mighty Max. He's the lone survivor. Barely even damage done on the Fnatic. Nico Dahl's the only player who's even really threatened. This round is over. Mighty Max has the kit. He has the smoke. It might be worth saving just those, because this is looking like an impossibility. Or is Mighty Max feeling a little ninja? The time. Oh, I thought he oh, missed them. Oh, if he just slipped through, what could have been? What could still be? My goodness here, Dean. What are the shots? Where is the bomb? Kills and such, the bomb's not actually oh, for is, them. This is... Just stick it. Stick it. Stick it. Well... No. no. <laughs> What I could have been. Might have worked though, considering it was planted on the opposite side of the truck. The head put down a little bit. There, there's a very actual narrow area where they can spam with those glocks rather than being the full body, of course, that's in view. Uh, it looks like they wanted to try and jump over for the knife, but he might have had a shot at getting the full five seconds. Either way, we won't know. At the very least, Mighty Max gets himself a few kills. It adds some money to his reserve. He's up to 2,900, but they're still just going to be taking a full eco here. No investment at all. They want to try and focus on getting that first gun round into the strongest position possible. And that should mean for Fnatic here that they're going to have a pretty clean round. They've gone pretty heavy on the rifles also. So that is their goal. They're trying to future-proof right now. Do like the bathroom stack. Taking a risk considering they don't have much to lose, really. May as well try something crazy. Don't mind it at all, yeah. Nico does is clearing this the right way, though. He could still get deleted by these three pistols. So the whole idea is if his peek around gets checked, and well, now he's realized they didn't quite have all the headshots they were hoping for. So now it's a question of whether they can get Nico does his gun away from him. Survey says no. Survey says no. decidedly no. That always reminds me of Little Britain. Not a show I've ever watched, although I you do never watched know of its existence. Check it out at some point. Wouldn't be suitable to mention, really, many of the gags on air, I don't think. Hmm, gotcha. Is it a sketch show, or is it like a... Yeah, it's a sketch show. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I haven't seen it in years myself, either. But there's, there's always the ones that you remember. Deep Molly. Second one actually put down. I was just thinking that they not already throw one over, but yeah, they wanted one in towards the party, so anyone who did commit or playground rider would then have. Earth's going for the very late follow up peak for the info there after the mollies were gone. Thankfully, he hadn't completely abandoned the, uh, the the rest of his team rider hadn't completely abandoned them, so there is still a bit of defense around this uh, this A bomb site. But for now. Really, all that Crucial can do is slightly slow down the potential advance and, well, not even really obtain any info in the meantime, um, in the meantime rather. As we can see, the push isn't going to come in towards A, but they don't really notice. They have no one pushed forward. They've been forced to rotate a second player up, and this has left... Threatening. This is going to be an interesting wrap. No one will actually be able to contest it. Surreal does have a good bit of utility. Mighty Max actually as well. So for the retake, if they survive into it, it's actually not a bad position to be in. The big trouble is going to be Roy. All the way on the other side of the map just now, working his way down connector, will be able to control rotations. and might so Discord in here. Oh, he's heard something. He's heard something up top, and it's drawn him through. And he's going to get the kill on Crucial as a result. Die to the next. Ooh, unless... A nice bit of play there it does eventually lead him to dying, but it'll also lead endpoint to saving. They are out. They've at least secured the escape route, but that's all they get out of this round. They are bailing. They're gone. And now 
Dean, I am going to share something that doesn't really matter just yet, but is kind of weird. Okay. The three players on endpoint haven't gotten a kill yet. Kirby just got his first. We're only three rounds in. It's not concerning yet. It just means endpoint have really been blanked out of these last few rounds. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily worried but yeah as you said definitely concerned and uh, after how poorly the force map went as well if the pistol round goes out as it did and obviously you're not going for the force bite and you can expect things to go like this where a couple of players just might not be able to get an opportunity for frags in those early rounds but it's about how you manage to turn it around afterwards so hopefully they'll still find their foot in here are they getting the full force in surreal even does have an m4 for himself just about had enough to buy it so they've got the full investment again but Obviously, Fnatic currently leading 3-0, so... Anyway. It's a very similar to approach well, to me. They, uh, they go for the Mac turn on Mezzi. Oh, that Ned. Sticking it out on that. Yeah, considering the money, maybe they're not expecting the full force by around this. Even if they are, they trust the aggression. Mezzi's already gained a forward position here over towards B. This is not bad. Yeah, Nick does hit a nade, but it's worthwhile. What's the position? Nerds. Nerds. Oh, he's going to be tested by Roy. This could be huge. This engagement could set the tempo for the whole round. He's been spotted. Now it's a really tricky spot. He's got no one here to help him. There's the flashbang. I think Roy caught some of that, but he will still realize the kill. Nicely played from Fnatic. Really nice play from Roy to not leave himself exposed to that angle. It's a very easy one to overlook. But having seen nothing doesn't even give enough of himself to really take that much damage. That's a nice opener. And uh, Crucial's in a tough spot here. Heavily committed, considering he's got zero backup, and, well, he might have taken the right time in there just to start falling back away. Still has to smoke there. I was going to say, if he could hold on to that for just a little bit longer, it could have really ran the time down. What's going on with the stickers on this gun? He's got Hunter... With the G2 sticker, he's got an Entropic sticker. What's the other one? Oh no! The theming here. Panic. Oh. Goes through. Interesting idea there. Sit I in think the it smoke. was just the wall bang coming in, and it I scared think he may him. I made an audio cue on the first one, which then gave him up. Because Fafra yeah, was I mean, certainly looking for it. I mean, he was going through that smoke as the player in Guardian. I think was wall banging to make sure he wasn't tucked in. Did you get me behind? Mm -hmm. So I, I think because of the, the shot starting at that point, he presumed they must have seen him walking into the smoke or something, but I don't think they had. So if, if not for the little shot that he gave off, then in response, I think he might have gotten away with walking through the smoke. It's unfortunate, but it's how, how things play out. It's Fnatic who managed to take themselves a very convincing round, shutting it down before there's even really any hope of a, a fight being put up for endpoint as they're instantly just forced into a save. They'll have a few weapons, they'll have the ability to drop over the M4s with the loss bonus built up into this next one at full, uh, at full already by that point, so there is that positive, but 4-0, they're already down a map. Chances are starting to look slimmer and slimmer that they can turn this series around. Even and, and the damage again, they traded. <laughs> they're just not killing anybody, is the other thing. No, no, no one dropped in that round. Three players still completely blanked. Nerts, perhaps most critically, being as he is a uh, an engine for this endpoint side. The timeout's coming in here as uh, Rage in the coach of endpoints is presumably going to be... I don't know if he's quite raging in the mics yet, but uh, definitely getting in their ears and saying we need to do something here to be a little bit more dynamic. They've been getting abused on these early picks, and then just from there, there's been nothing doing in terms of a way back into the round. Fasher has barely had to do anything yet. He's got one kill, no deaths. He's chilling. He deserves it after the last game. <laughs> what did he end that on actually i never i didn't have a he look at the end there but he was like 18 and 5 or something at one point at the half i think something like that yeah and every single kill which is very crucial he was always he was always in the right place coming away with double kills when he really should have been getting one and done being double peaked and, and such 12 180 r 1.51 rating i think that was with him That's slowing nice. down a tiny bit in the second half as well yeah bonkers first half for sure is he on the mac 10 again seems to be by choice at this point well, he's just keeping control. it. They're getting away with robbery here. Might as well keep it. Oh, Nerds keep the economy does not going fresh. This. Nerds. Good flashbang, but Messi's just like, come on, come on. Commit, commit, commit to that peak. Commit to that angle. Commit to that fight. They know they've got Nerds isolated here. And if they can get a player top con, they can pressure him from every side. This is such a tough spot for Nerds. Even just to survive. They're going to come in to clear Messi, but that was the trap. 
They get the kill on Mezzi. Rims comes in to punish. Nerds was left a little bit there. And here we go. An advantage for Endpoint. A chance here. Crims is waiting for them to try and overface into the peak. But Nerds is clearing this and he just needs one bullet. He just needs one bullet. Crims dancing with death. Buying time, buying a moment. The HE might finish him. But it goes a little too deep. So Crims somehow improbably survives. Hyman. Ryan Nikodos. 40 seconds. They're coming on into it. Roy, if he finds his bank player, no. Caught by Kirby before he can activate. And with that, this should just mean that FNAF and Crims on the other side, a deadly combination smoke in. Means that that will be delayed, at least for a little while here. Instead, let's see what's working towards A. Fasher has full control of the connector. There's players out towards the long and the signpost there. It's not so much of a signpost. It's like a tiny billboard sign. What would you call that kind of sign? Which one was it? The the one by where uh, Crucial's holding right now. Oh, um... Bulletin? Just the sign? Yeah, I just call it sign two, but I'm I'm <laughs> thinking now, right? You have sign posts. You have, like, uh, billboards. So it's not billboard. What would be the word for that kind of a sign? It's not quite big enough to be a billboard. It's just a, a panel, I guess? Map? Oh. Yeah, I think it's it like an really information matter, tourist... Mappy Either thing, way. Nerds. Good position there. Actually, don't expect a second player. Unfortunately, the bomb's not going to be planted for him. So he's only able to do a small bit of damage, and a Nasher catches him reloaded. A Fasher, what a minute about Mixing well, them Fasher together. kills Nerds, so it's yeah. Nasher. Yeah. It's a bit <laughs> of a Masher in this together. round. <laughs> Smasher that setup. Our brains are breaking at this point, it seems like, Mike. Oh, yeah, and we're only <laughs> one map deep, so that does not bode well for our mental resilience, team. It's another save as well from Endpoint. I don't think that'll be helping their mental resilience. There was a lot of those situations on Ancient where they were losing sight so convincingly that they weren't given the option to even consider mm -hmm. going for the round. And it, it can be very frustrating because sure, you're saving over some weapons and, and with the loss bonus, normally you can get the buy out. Still, to just not even have an opportunity of winning the round, not be able to give it your best go, it is certainly a awkward position. Mighty Max gets himself a kill there. I think they actually tried to hunt out of Connected in the last couple of seconds. Don't manage to take any more weapons away. And as I said, with the loss bonus, they should be fine to get their guns again. Might even upgrade off the MP9 there. I would probably like to out. see that. Here's the timeout coming in. And this is something we also saw in Ancient, where they just burned a lot of timeouts very early on for Endpoint. And even if you are converting off of these timeouts, one round win per timeout is not an efficient conversion. <laughs> you run out of the timeouts pretty quickly at that rate. So this can't just be about fixing this next round. Right, this next round is critical. It's super important to figure out what they're doing, what they're buying, how they're deploying it. But whatever is imparted during this break in time is actually not going to be for this next round. It'll be for the following. And this is where we need to see the fortunes change for Endpoint. If Fnatic get up towards nine rounds in this half, I just don't really see the path back in. Uh, and Fnatic are not that far off from it. One more proper gun round, since they didn't invest fully into this, and I'll be right on the doorstep of an absurd number. Heavy presence and connector. And this is unfortunate, because they've gone for the stack here, Nerts. And Cherubi, heavy emphasis in. They might get caught. Fasher's looking for it. Cherubi, deleted, erased. Nerts, the next one on. Only one player's been spotted. So what's going to happen here? The pressure on is surreal. This actually works out. Oh my goodness, they fell into the trap. Don't even know if that was the design, but Endpoint certainly audibled quickly regardless, and they've got control of the bomb. Chance for recovery. Nico Dawes finds the first. Endpoint have to be careful. This is the best situation they've been in in a long time, but it's Nico Dawes and it's Crims to contend with two very deadly customers, and they're looking to check out. Oh, thought Surreal might get caught there, but he's far enough away. Instead, Crucial coming down on the flank, pairing up with Surreal. They could find Nico Dawes. With his back exposed, he's got to go quickly. He's completely exposed. He has no idea this is coming. No expectation of it. Well, it does take two deep shots. Those deep shots are enough. For Krims, it's much about winning the round. This is about economic damage. Because this is a lifeline for Endpoint to get back into this game. And it's taken, thankfully, with the three still standing. Surreal's not going to have an upgrade for that MP9, sadly. Not ideal, but looks like he's happy enough to carry that one weaker weapon over and 
one more round might just do it to actually break through the economy. There's still a bit left there on a couple of the players. Actually, few, a few of them. Rai would probably still be able to scrape a bite together as well, especially if they got a bomb plant. So, won't 100% be breaking that economy for Fnatic off the back of this round, but it would be a big start. It would be a turret on the CT side, and who knows, maybe even still a chance of pulling things back into a 9-6 half if they can keep it going flawlessly. That will not be easy, of course. At least the hope would be there. Fnatic slowing things down a small bit again. Slowed by the utility at the very least. The wall bang though from Mezzi. Just as they start pushing into that short control. There was a second player who was just like, yeah, nah, screw that. I'm not going to stick around here. Alright. Dangerous fight against Fasher. He's been on point. He has. He has oh a boost up. Oh, unfortunate missed opportunity. The second player goes down as well. Now they don't even really need the care about connector. They can leave nerds alone. And the bomb can go in. And once again, endpoints conversion rate of one timeout per one round win holds. Which raises some questions. Are they just calling one round in these timeouts? How involved is Regen in the calling? Is that concerning for their overall setups? It's definitely not boating well, and well, Crucial might be the only one to survive through this. If even, I mean, he is going to get one more exit kill, which confirms his position, but the economy is okay enough for Fnatic to try and throw the numbers at this. They're not all that close, though, so that may be the main reason that they don't manage to take the weapon away, but I think Mezzi wants to give it a go. Crucial, though, he's going to be ready. Up close with the op, nice and personal. The shoulder walks right into the crosshair, and that's just not a shot he's going to miss. That should confirm it. No one's going to reach him in time. Oh, he nearly got wall banged down, though. Every time I say something, it's just like, yeah, no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to prove you wrong right now. 7-2. We, we said it just throughout this entire series. Endpoint have been eluded by the ability to chain together even two rounds, at least meaningful ones. I think mm -hmm. early on on the first map, they were able to get a, a gun round and maybe a, an anti-eco then afterwards as well. But other than that, it's been a single round immediately returned on Fnatic throughout both this map and Ancient always having the money in the reserve for at least one or two buys pretty much. This one looked like it was almost going to be a faster play for B based on the presence from Fnatic, but they'll wait. They'll sit. They'll see what the response is from Endpoint. This is such a critical round for Endpoint. So critical. They have some money to spare. It's not a complete disaster if they drop it, and the loss bonus is still built up. But that'd be eight for Fnatic. That would be Endpoint in a really tough spot. Nico does. Is peering in to the site. A few mollies and nades thrown to see if they can rustle somebody into a crosshair. Nico Dawes call him the rustler. And there it is! One surreal rustled on out. The spot on Kirby was there, but Nico Dawes didn't realize what he had till too late. Big recovery from Nico Dawes. And look at this flank. He's starting to develop from there. He's gone all the way through. He's checking in towards party. I think he's just going to miss Roy. So maybe a bit of false comfort given over to his team, but there's a chance if he just keeps going, he could actually find the bomb. It's been left behind for Fnatic. Roy is going to have A, and they're not going to have control of the bomb. And Nerds is going to be in position to punish rotations if it comes through. Roy is coming right now. I'm A. I'm A. I'm A. They're thinking about rotating, but this is such a bad spot for Fasher. Uh-oh. He's been heard. Nerds. They have no idea. They're not even checking for this. He's playing it so patient. There's the kill. Two players up connector. They have to deal time. with Nerds. They have to deal with him quickly. It's done. 14 seconds. They got no time. Uh, can they even make this on the run? Maybe with the knife out. Perhaps. And afterwards, which would be worst case scenario, really, for Grimms. But I don't think Endpoint they're going to take the risk. They'd rather keep all of their own guns standing, even if they knew it was a chance to really do some damage to Fnatic. They've done that either way. By coming through here with a round that really shouldn't have been theirs. I was a bit worried about that position because obviously the timing could have worked against them if they had brought the bomb back through connector instead. Maybe they would have bypassed them, but obviously it was perfect in the sense that the bomb goes back around through mid on its own. And when he dropped it, there was 16 seconds left. So uh, unless the player took it with the knife out and ran straight to the bomb site, it just wasn't happening. And he goes forward again. Worked out in the previous round, I suppose. Why not? Looking for some early aggression to try and alleviate some pressure and hopefully start chaining those rounds together, which, as we said, has been hard for them to do so. 
not going to spot anything, and while well, it's actually over towards Monster instead, where the spam through the smoke comes in to get Crims. It's a weird one. Crims is trying to get cheeky with it, I suppose. Not going to have it this time, and Nerds taking out the Opera and Nikladas as well. Confirms the bomb. That will be allowed to be recovered by Fnatic, but what a great start for Endpoint. Most confident round we've seen from them so far. No, it still have to be a bit weary without too much support. A player could be flanking him from bathroom, so we will go back to check that. But at least for now, this is going to be a tough round to recover for Fnatic, and we might finally see the cash broken. Because unless they get a bomb plant out of this one, I don't think they can invest in the next. So a chance for Endpoint to actually build something on the CT side. Pressure is going to come towards A. It's the only place they've got presence on the map. And as Endpoint sees their smoke's clear, they're going to have this information. Nerds, though, doesn't wait for that information. He'll strike first. Really warming up in this game, considering he started 0-4, I think. Seven kills since then. And this round is looking spotless. Yeah, pretty much perfectly done in this round as you said rise just backing off you'll have an ak at least to carry true but other than that i think we're looking at an eco here for fanatic so it should be endpoint finding themselves a fifth round and potentially still having the opportunity to claw back into a lead at the half time which was looking damn near impossible even just two rounds ago so Maybe just some pistols around this op. I, I don't know if it's worth putting the full investment in. When he's already starting to build in for end, uh, to build up for endpoint, so even if they were to win it, it wouldn't completely destroy them. You can just have the op here alongside maybe a couple upgraded pistols that can get the, the job done to at least try and get a couple kills and maybe a bomb plant, which would be pretty useful to try and ensure Roy can join them in buying. Seems like Fnatic going to be conservative with the Cashola. At least they're taking their sweet time thinking about it. Deegs up. Armor on the Nikodos with that AWP. Little sum sum, but they're not spending beyond their means. There could be some limitations in the next. They'll be on third round loss bonus if I'm not mistaken. Ah, they whiffed the Yurtle the Turtle. Nikodos Rip. is going back to it. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. You gotta hit it on the first. Otherwise, the timing is missed and the opportunity is lost. So, Nico, it it's time to get back to those KZ servers, perhaps. Roy! Roy! He's got all the util! He's got no util! Goodbye. Goodbye, Roy. Yeah, pretty much as expected, though. Pistols only, apart from the single op, which shouldn't really be given too many opportunities, Consider an endpoint know that they're up against the platings. In pairs, use their flash as well, and at most a casualty or two is what they can afford to lose. These groups are on bathrooms for now. I think they were expecting maybe a flank to come true. It was B short aggression, I think, that came in instead from Endpoint. They've gotten the info that there's not really much going on around there and haven't really bothered with the rotation yet because Kirby and Crucial seem to have things unlocked, at least in the early moments of the round. and while they continue to do so as well as those peaks come in, the op has been eliminated already as well, and the moment isn't going to be recovered. Since shot by Mezzi, does give some hope. There's a boss ability, at least. Grimp might catch this. Damage. Well, the Mighty Max pushes him back. Certainly wouldn't be a path to a bomb plant, but a dropped gun and a save here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Mm, speaking of a dropped gun and a save, have an AWP, Mezzi. Is he gonna? He's gonna try this. He's gonna try this. 16 seconds, completely isolated. Crim's on the other side of the map. Crim's now dead. The weird information. They've got control of construction. They don't have any real information towards A. So how do they read this? Nikodos gets left alone. It's heavy concentration towards B. That bomb's rotating with 40 seconds. This kill's huge. Crucial dropping at the wrong time. He gets checked out. Nikodos doesn't have the info on Kirby yet. But now he does. Now he's got the spot. Now he's got the info, and this rotation is going to be a little bit too late. Crims will already be in position to support, and the next two might be joining him. 20 seconds. They are going to commit to this. This next spot will confirm, will bring all of the CTs here to defend. And if Nikodos just drops the planter, that could be it. That could be over. That shot's missed, but Crims did hit. And it's one player stuck in that ice box, and Mighty Max cannot escape. 
Good work. Fasher joining in on the action again as well. As we said, on map one, he was just ridiculous and certainly had a slower start here onto the map, but he's had his moments as well. Yeah, they just didn't have the time there in the end to get that one done. As soon as Nikodos got that first kill over towards Long, spotted one other player on short and just tucked in, it was basically done because the rest of them were not ready to actually follow up with that push quite yet. 10-10, we're tied up. There's the first chance in quite a while for Fnatic to actually break endpoint potentially. Although, the, unfortunately, that situation does go both ways at this point. Fnatic themselves have not stabilized their economy. It's what we call a swing round. Oh, Nerds! Oh, How it's been so good! Them? 20 kills! Now confirmed. Nerds has taken both of the players, Roy and Messi. That was the setup last round as well, but this time, uh, Nerds capitalizes. So huge for endpoint. Reminder, folks, he started out 0-4. he got 20 kills now. It's been so long since then, but he has been a machine. Nikodos close up. He's got the info. This should be a freebie. Kirby has no idea what he's just missed. And Nikodos... Oh, no! When he got Nerds away? doesn't check it. Nikodos getting away there. That could have been really bad. It still could be. Nerds senses the space he's been given, and he'll not have it! Damage on the Nikodos, but... The numbers are evened up, and now with two players still on B, this hit's going to come through, and it's going to come into resistance. Quite a bit oh, of yeah. it, especially with that monster player up close. Had been flashed in for the monster peak, so I thought they at the very least would have been cautious of it, but as you can see, Fasher still catching one off guard, and now it's all on Mighty Max. He's got the initial pick up towards Heaven. That was actually the rotator that he took out of play immediately. Unfortunately, couldn't deal with Fasher nor Crims, who had both just tucked in at that point and were forcing him to make the play happen. So, traded back again, Fnatic. They do manage to recover despite the 3 on 5 that looked to be pretty much out of their control and should have been multiple times. He should have been caught falling back from the connector peak, but the timing, Nerds didn't want to take the risk considering they already had the advantage. And I mean, understandably so, but it would have been a free kill, as we could see from our perspective. And then he gets taken down eventually from the follow up peak. and. It just spirals out of control, and now Endpoint have got to be a little bit worried at the very least. This one's an eco. It should be 12-10 for Fnatic. And although Endpoint have been controlling the gun rounds for the for as long as we can remember, really, at this point now, if, if the next gun round goes the way of Fnatic again, it could be out of their control before they even have a chance again to try and come back into this. So Endpoint cannot let that happen. Interesting timing to take a timeout from the Fnatic side of things. I think something may be seen in that last one. That they want to uh, straighten out before it becomes a bigger vulnerability. Maybe a change up in the way they're approaching Connector this round. It's just the pistols, and it seems like they are going fast in towards B, risking the Molotov. No, they somehow avoided that Molotov entirely. Don't know what happened there, but it's going to be a little bit of a rude surprise for the Fnatic players in the meantime. Nerd's got a kill, he got a rifle, and Nerd says, I'm out of here. What's that loss bonus had? Is it? Uh, they've lost two in a row, so actually mm. the value of this M4 should be more than the loss bonus, right? Yeah. Probably worked well. I mean, he has enough money that he could have bought anyway with an AK, but it might boost up their nades a little bit. Enough to buy armor, would have fully utility then behind it, but the only problem is there's a ton of time, so we're going to be sitting around for a while if he is looking to save this. And I don't think don't Fnatic will bother with a hunt uh, either. minute and a half saves? Every now and again, maybe. <laughs> some non sequiturs. Dean, do you know what an Arnold Palmer is? You know no. Arnold Palmer's and it's a it's a concoction of half lemonade, half iced tea. It's delicious. Okay. And I've got one right next to me right now, and I'm enjoying it. Apparently, he's a professional golfer as well. He is also a pro he he's the one who made the drink and thus oh. coined it. Okay. Uh, so that's why it's called an Arnold Palmer. There's also a, it's a whole licensing thing with a, a certain brand that I'm probably not supposed to say on this, so I won't. I just like uh, brands in general. I never know. <laughs> yeah, but the drink in this one is is delicious. I uh, homemade some lemonade last night, which is disgustingly easy if you ever want to make your own. Nerds has decided he does not actually want to save. He wants one more kill. I've never had iced tea before, though. You've never? What? Huh. What? What? Okay, with the amount of tea you drink, you've been complaining about how hot it's been in Ireland lately. Here's what you do. Okay? Make your normal tea. Get a glass full of ice. I don't know about that. Pour we'd the tea into it. Yeah, but we make our tea with milk and all, so it's... Well, skip the milk. You can make milk, ice milk tea. Then you get into boba territory. But just skip the milk for once. Make your tea. Wait till it's fully brewed. And then just pour it over a glass of ice. 
delightful concoction. I, Add some I will sugar give it if a you go. want it, but I would recommend skipping the sugar. Just just go straight for iced tea. I do like sugar and tea in general. <clears throat> oh, then so here we go. Sugar. We do need to focus back on the round for now as we're getting into something that hopefully should be exciting again. As we had mentioned, there was a lot of time to waste there, so iced tea was a decent topic to waste it. As Kirby and Nurse both Cramps, looking for Cramps, the connection. Cramps, Control Cramps. and Nurse for the oh. first time in a while struggled with getting it. The initial damage allows for Crims to come in and find some, I would imagine, very sweet revenge. Finally got it. Crims, oh, we'll get more. The Berserker mode for Crims. He will finally be put down, but he's found his damage. Three kills out of it. Crims is top of the board for his team. It's funny, it feels like he's been getting caught out. Uh, certain rounds, but still, he's just so good, you can't deny him. You can't deny him his. And now Cruz is coming back into clear connector, but is he going to expect Roy to be so far into it? We might have an inkling, since Roy's been playing this position a lot, and they're actually going to pinch in. Roy could be in a bad spot here. Oh, his Mighty Max is going to come down the ladder without Cruz having to do this. Ooh. Oh, okay. What a shot, Mighty Max. He actually got dinked, but his AK is a little better for that one. Hell of a shot to hit while falling off the ladder. Uh, but that does at least give them a chance into this one, a chance that quickly slips away. 9 HP Mighty Max now in a 1v3. That's a tough ask of anybody. Uh, uh, apparently Living Mighty Max only Mighty gets headshots, man. Name. Yeah. If he hits one more, Surely I'm going to say check this. PC. Yeah, cut off guard. I mean, at that point, you're, you're expecting probably both of the players to be tucked in, playing things a bit more passively and... That wasn't quite the case around the pillar there, but as we said, that initial damage allows for Crims' MP9 to really get the job done there in connector, and, well, just nice time in the catch the third player creeping around the smoke and basically already solidified our hold on the round, or things had basically even had a chance to begin for, uh, to begin for Endpoint, rather. You know our uh, Swedish production staff is never going to miss a chance to play a Crims uh, uh, replay there. Oh, yeah. They're, they're we got ready. one of them. Ready on the Crims highlights. Yeah, you have to. You, you need to represent the Swedes at this point, especially <laughs> since you've got Fnatic and only one of them. It is nice to see a, a mixture of nationalities. International teams have just taken over. We phase the obvious example, Ents, <laughs> Fnatic, Roy dead. Don't know Why is that caught them off guard? He's been there like every round. Problem is, Nurse is dead. So, uh, the mammoth of a man gone quiet. God, and up. a boost up, late boost up, called by Mezzi. Perfect execution there. Two kills in, no danger in the round. 14 to 10 is the scoreline, despite some riskiness, despite some big scares after Endpoint made that run back in the first half. Fnatic looked to be in control once again, and the timeout's got to be critical here. Ragian gets uh, another chance to get in their ears before series point is secured by Fnatic. This might be the last chance saloon for Endpoint. Yeah, well, it would be. I mean, if this goes south, sure, they have the loss bonus alongside a small bit of money to scrape out another buy, but still, it's it's kind of now or never. Fnatic have retaken control and just putting a stop to them is not going to be an easy task now that they've woken up again. Crims has been a bit of a beast, as we mentioned. Rai has been a lot quieter in this game, though, as well. That's the thing. From map to map, it really does differ who's at the top of that scoreboard for Fnatic. It's something you do like to see for them. I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. it, it is always nice that if you know if you're having a quieter game or an off day or something like that, you know, the, the wrist just isn't quite as warmed up for them flicks. Your teammates could just step up. Immediately step in a position to do it. Roy... Speaking of stepping up, has stepped on into the playground. And Kirby might be in a little bit of trouble as a result. Oh, Kirby's making some noise. Roy knows. This is engagement outside of B that could be so critical. And there's going to be a freebie for Roy. No chance for Kirby. Nothing doing. Now they know they're hemmed in. Now they know the positioning. They've got so much information. Connector and B, that's all they've got to worry about. So the utility starts to come out here from Fnatic to make sure Endpoint can't get into it. And meanwhile, the UK org, which I can't actually say in this matchup because they all are. Gonna sweat. Endpoint. Sweating. Fasher. Oh, spotting. Didn't quite get the damage he was hoping for, but there's the flash right. Do it again. Do it again. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. I can get it this time. And indeed, he can connect for two. All hope slowly just slipping up. 
Mighty Max again, hoping to be the hero of the round. Had his moments earlier on when he pulled that triple kill off. Could do with the help of Nerds, who's been having a fantastic game as well. Fortunately, not quite ready to push off of each other yet. Instead, hoping those nades would force some players out of position. Mighty Max takes some damage on the jump across. He's still good for one. He's not able to deal with Crims and a gap in that smoke for Crims to emerge from there. As he finishes off Nerds, it's 15-10 map. And series point at that as well for Fnatic as endpoint. It's look. It looks like this could be the endpoint for their season, unfortunately. <laughs> the endpoint for their season could be. It's been a battle back in uh, in pro league in general. They've been trying to capitalize from the bottom of this group, but uh, there is a chance here for it all to it's go away. It's a young away. team, though, so I I'm still excited by what we can get from them. I'm excited by Nerds, man. This dude's insane. Mm -hmm. This dude is nuts. We've seen a lot of players come out of this endpoint roster, move on into other positions, and really bloom. And it feels like Nerds Even just from Israel. Bloom. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The, the pipeline is uh, pretty dramatic at this point. The explosion of Israeli talent into the scene is kind of wild to watch. You know, we've, we've gone from basically no, no players, it being unheard of, to two or three in substantial positions within orgs and, and a few more... Uh, looking like they're on the move up. Wild. Yeah, it, it really is a kind of a region of talent to keep an eye on in the future going forward for sure. It makes me wonder what the saying. next spot is, what the next region is where we just don't know, right? Who, Somewhere who's got in the... Asia. There's just so many people. It's got to be eventually. <laughs> True. Get when do we start CS. getting the real Asian talent? True. Just the unnatural gods just being produced on a daily basis through like a production factory that's what we need that's what they have in cis so Let's get some tips from them <laughs> either way a very crucial round to try and keep some life in endpoint okay no kirby life left in him but not a lot after the op, op shot lands on him unfortunately so that is not the start they were hoping for again on the lurk and not having any success oh they're all hemmed in here. At least there's not the flank this time, right? Kirby hasn't gone down, so there's still a possibility that someone's over towards A, but you can see Fnatic don't respect it a lot. We haven't seen a lot of A plays out from this endpoint side, certainly not in a long time. So it's Nico Dawes, and it is Roy over to that side of the map. Roy could be a quick rotator. There's the spot for real with the kill. Mezzi forced back, but Crims holds on it, Monster. The longer he stays alive here, the more of a nuisance he is. And Crims just so tough to kill. He never says die. Further damage. Look at the health. The health is gone. Slivers of it for Surreal. And now just Surreal. And he is over and done with. Mezzi puts them down. Three kills for Mezzi to eliminate his old team. To send Fnatic into playoffs. They actually already had playoffs. But to give them a better spot within it. To take the 2-0. And to deny endpoint.